Born on December 13, 1863, Carl Friedrich Wilhelm Grossmann was a German serial killer and a sexual predator who was rumored to be a cannibal. Despite mounting evidence against him, he never admitted to cannibalizing his victims, instead, he chose to take his secrets to the grave. From a young age, Grossman's sadistic sexual tendencies were apparent, and he had a history of preying on young girls. There is limited information available regarding his early years, however, it is known that he served 15 years for committing acts of child Grossman lived in a squalid apartment in the slums of Berlin. As World War I raged on, Grossman took advantage of the chaos, and started selling meat and hot dogs to hungry travelers at Berlin's Silesian train station. Given the food shortages at the time, he had a never-ending supply of meat. Over the years, neighbors noticed many destitute-looking young women going to his apartment, but only a few of them would ever emerge. His female visitors were subjected to sexual violence, under the guise of offering them employment. The sound of screams coming from his room had become a common occurrence for his neighbors. They refrained from alerting the authorities, as similar disturbances had been heard in the past, and dismissed it as nothing out of the ordinary. However, the discovery of over 20 dismembered bodies in a canal near Andreas Square, and off the Lusenstad Canal, led authorities to suspect that a serial killer was on the loose. On August 21, 1921, Grossman's neighbors were jolted by blood-curdling screams and banging noises coming from his apartment. Soon, the eerie silence that followed sent shivers down their spines. The police, alarmed by the commotion, stormed into the apartment, only to discover the lifeless body of a young woman he had just murdered bound on the bed. Bloodstains in the apartment indicated that at least three other people had been butchered in the weeks leading up to his arrest. He was immediately taken into custody and charged with first-degree murder. According to a 1921 report, Grossman had confessed to killing around 20 women over the last two decades, while another report from 1922 suggested that he had admitted to only four murders. However, some have speculated that the number of women who entered Grossman's apartment and never came out could be as high as 50. Nobody really knew how many women had fallen prey to his sadistic tendencies. Rumors soon began to swirl that the meat he sold was not from animals, but from his victims, and he threw bones and other inedible parts of his victims into the canal. Grossman managed to evade justice by hanging himself in his prison cell on July 5, 1922, before the completion of the primary trial. Despite being labeled the Butcher of Berlin, the full extent of his crimes and motives remain unknown, leaving behind only chilling speculations and haunting unanswered questions.